I can't think of anything more masculine or high value than approaching a beautiful woman you see when you're out and about in public. There's nothing more masculine or high value than seeing an opportunity and seizing it. The opportunistic mindset, the go-getter's mentality is a habit. It's a state of mind, a way of being. If you're the kind of man who goes for it in his professional life, who's hungry and motivated to fulfill your potential, be it with your work or at the gym, but the second you see an attractive girl who deep down you know you'd want to approach and you don't approach her, you are not fulfilling your true potential. You are leaving it on the table. And if you doubt what I'm saying, let me ask you this. You mean to tell me you're a full grown man with his life together, supposedly, but you cower in fear and approach anxiety when it comes time to say hi to a cute girl or respectfully start a conversation with her like a gentleman. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? The masculine energy, the true masculine energy is about inserting your will onto the universe. Embodying this masculine assertive spirit is a way of life. It has a compounding effect. If you allow weakness in any area of your life, it's like a weed. It will slowly begin to take over and grow in other areas of your life. Let me ask you this. Does your perfect 10 out of 10 self, your aspirational highest version of you, is he afraid to approach a beautiful woman? Is he afraid of the words, hi, I saw you from over there. I wanted to come meet you. Do you hear how cowardly that sounds to be afraid of words? You're afraid of the words, hi. If you are not approaching the women in your life that you see in your day-to-day -day life, when you're out in public, you need to understand something. Fear is ruining your life. Fear is running your life and you are letting it. The mentality and inner spirit that allows you to be afraid of something as basic and simple as this certainly exists in other areas. And the problem is that this mentality, the mentality and inner spirit that allows you to be afraid of something as basic and simple as saying hi, this mentality and inner spirit that keeps you afraid, that keeps you living in fear, this certainly exists in other areas of your life. You just don't realize it yet. This is about much more than simply approaching a girl. It's about how your mind viruses and excuses are limiting you from reaching your full potential as a man. And this weakness, this proclivity to make excuses and rationalize, this tendency to lie to yourself is manifesting in other areas. In your professional life, how much money you make, how physically fit and in shape you are. And the worst part about this is that I actually see this most often in older and higher value guys because they already have success in one area of their life, be it financially or professionally. So they lean on that as a crutch. Well, at least I'm rich or well, at least I started a business. But that's just another clever excuse because I assure you, if you're lying to yourself in this area of your life, your dating life, you're lying to yourself in other areas of your life, especially your professional life. And the sooner you stop making excuses and stop lying to yourself, the sooner you'll get success in your romantic relationships and the sooner you'll break past the ceilings and barriers holding you back in your professional and personal life. The most common excuse that's popular nowadays to not approach a woman when you go out and see her is, oh, but I'm just working on myself right now. I don't care about girls. I'm just working on myself right now. Fine, understood, I get it. But I'm not talking about going and spending hours and hours at the mall to approach women. I'm talking about approaching the women you see in your day-to-day -day life that you're encountering anyways. I'm talking about reprogramming your mindset to where you see an opportunity with an attractive girl, you go for it because it's literally right in front of you. The idea that if I see a girl I like, if I see an opportunity to go for what I want, I'm not gonna approach her because I'm on my purpose. I'm on my purpose. Well, right now your purpose has you online at Starbucks. You're not really chasing your purpose in this second, brother. So what's your excuse? Oh, but wait, but Zeus, but Benjamin, girls will chase me later when I'm rich. I'm just gonna focus on making money first. False, absolutely false. I've had literal millionaires who've reached out to me, who've worked with me, who were getting zero action with women plenty of times. Why? Because you don't walk around with your bank account balance taped to your forehead. You still need to talk to the girl and know what to say and do. Even if your excuse was correct, even if that was the case, even if it was the case that you were 100% focused on getting rich right now, which is certainly not, do you hear how stupid those excuses sound? Are you really that inefficient at getting your work done that you don't have two minutes out of your day to approach a woman who's already in front of you at line at Starbucks or at the gym or wherever the hell you are. What's more likely? Let me ask you this. You spend every waking second of your life working on pursuing your purpose, which is an honorable thing to do, I may add, or you're making an excuse and rationalizing why you're too afraid to approach a woman you know deep down 
you'd like to. When I say cold approach, I don't mean spending three hours per day at the mall approaching everything that moves. No, not at all. Anyone with a brain knows that unless you're rich or have unlimited time, this is not the best use of your day. However, if you're a man who's walking around with his head up rather than buried within your phone, you would know that every single week you are encountering multiple attractive women in your day-to-day -day life. If you're already there anyways, why not just take the two minutes to approach them. I don't want to hear the excuse of, oh, but I don't have time. I'm busy working on my purpose or, oh, I'm focused and locked in. I don't have any time. Because if you're going to say that, I have one question for you. What's your screen time on your phone? How much time did you spend dicking around on Instagram or TikTok or endlessly scrolling on nonsense today? Because I know extremely rich people, deep, deep eight figure net worth. And as hard as they work, they still have the time of the day to approach the cute girl they see when they're out. So what's your excuse? You have the time. What you lack is the will. You'd prefer to make excuses and lie to yourself because it's more comfortable. Let me ask you a question that may reframe the way you think about this. Why not look for the opportunity rather than the excuse? Because the truth is making excuses is a habit. If you do it in one area of your life, you do it in every other area of your life in some way. It's a weed. And if you let it grow, it'll grow and grow and grow and take over your whole fucking garden. When I see a weed, I pull that shit and I advise you to do the same. Now, if this little speech of mine spoke to you and you feel like you're ready to stop making excuses and start pulling the weeds out of your life and you wanna work with me and my team personally to get you on one to three days a week guaranteed with the type of woman you want, then apply to work with me below. But be warned, I don't accept anyone. I accept less than 5% of applicants. But if you think you're worthy, you wanna start getting results like I'm about to show you, click below and I hope to see you inside.